In today's video, we have selected six of the best games that used Maya to build stunning worlds, create realistic characters, and deliver immersive experiences, so please stay with us till the end. Before we continue, I wanted to let you know about this interesting course that goes through how to create and render a scene of a Pokemon crab in a mossy wood environment. You would do this using Maya and Arnold Render Engine in addition to Quixel Megascan and Shade It. This course goes through three stages. First, you will need to get the models within the course to build the scene quickly with the instructor. Secondly, you will learn how to create and scatter moss and floating dust to create a more believable scene because you are learning how to create something that looks realistic. Finally, you will jump to rendering and compositing where you will learn valuable lessons with the instructor of this course. Just to let you know, this course is being updated constantly, which allows you to work with the instructor as he puts in more content. Also, this course is not for complete beginners, at least you have to have some understanding of the basics. If you are interested, you can find links in the description. Number 6. Dios Ax Mankind Divided Dios Ax Mankind Divided is an action role-playing video game developed by Eidos Montreal and advertised by Square Enix Europe subsidiary in August 2016 for Microsoft Windows, Xbox, and PlayStation 4. It is the fourth main title in the Dios Ax series and a sequel to the 2011 game Dios Ax Human Revolution. The gameplay combines a first-person shooter, stealth, and role-playing elements, and it features exploration and combat in environments connected to the central hub of Bragg and quests that grant experiences that allow customization of the main character's abilities with Praxis kits. Maya was used by 3D artists who created this game to model and texture the elements that you can find in the game from characters, buildings, environments, animation, and much more. Number 5. Mirror's Edge Catalyst Mirror's Edge Catalyst is a first-person action-adventure platform game developed by DICE and published by Electronic Arts. The game was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in June 2016. It is a reboot of the 2008 game that focuses on a protagonist, Faith Connors. In this game, the player controls Faith Connors as she advances through the futuristic town named Glass. Like the original Mirror's Edge, players cross the city using aspects of the urban investigation and parkour moves to complete missions and evade or fight opponents. The 3D artists who participated in creating and developing this game used Maya to model the characters, also animation were captured in Motion Builder, and then polished in Maya. Number 4. Ratchet & Clank Ratchet & Clank is a series of action platformer and a third-person shooter video games. The franchise was developed and created by Isomniac Games and distributed by Sony Interactive Entertainment for PlayStation consoles such as PlayStation 2, 3, and 4, and even PlayStation 5, with the exclusion of Size Matters and Secret Agent Clank, which High Impact Games produced for the PlayStation Portable. On a side note, an animated feature movie adaptation was released on April 2016. The games take place in a science fiction context and catch the adventures of Ratchet, a feline humanoid known as Lombax, who is a mechanic and Clank, a diminutive, sentient zoni detective robot, as they travel through the universe, protecting it from evil forces that constantly endanger it. This game's 3D artists and designers have used Maya to model and texture the different characters and the game environments. Maya provided them with excellent polymodeling tools that take organic modeling, character rigging, and animation to the next level, and provided them with an intuitive experience. Number 3. Dragon Age Inquisition Dragon Age Inquisition is a 2014 action role-playing video game created by Bioware and distributed by EA. The game was released worldwide on Windows, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. The third main game in the Dragon Age franchise, Inquisition, is the sequel to Dragon Age 2 in 2011. The story follows a player character identified as the Inquisitor on a mission to settle the civil unrest on a region of Thetis and close an obscure tear in the sky called the Breach, which is unleashing deadly demons upon the world. Dragon Age Inquisitor's gameplay is similar to its predecessors, although it consists of several semi-open worlds for players to explore. 
The 3D artist who participated in the creation of development of this game used Maya for modeling and texturing different elements such as characters, buildings and different environments. Due to many reasons, one of them is the blazing fast performance of the software in both playback and manipulation of character rigs thanks to parallel rig evaluation. Number 2 Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is a 2015 first-person shooter video game developed by Treyarch and published by Activision. It is the 12th entry in the Call of Duty series and the sequel to the 2012 video game Call of Duty Black Ops 2. It was released on Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on November 6, 2015. A feature limited version developed by Beanox and Mercenary Technology that only supports multiplayer modes was released on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and was also the final Call of Duty title released on those platforms. Black Ops 3 takes place in 2065, 40 years later after the events of Black Ops 2, in a world facing upheaval from climate change and new technologies. This game was purely modeled and textured using Maya that provided an excellent 3D creation toolset. This toolset includes access to a range of amazing tools for character creation, 3D editorial and keyframes in addition to procedural and scripted animation. This game was considered and it is still considered a huge success as it was the top selling retail game in the US in 2015. It is considered one of the most successful titles released for the 8th generation video game consoles. Number 1 Uncharted 4 A Thief's End Uncharted 4 is a 2016 action adventure game developed by Naughty Dog and distributed by Sony Computer Entertainment. A Thief's End is a player from the third person perspective and includes platformer elements. Players can unlock puzzles and use melee combat, firearms and stealth to fight invaders. The development of the Uncharted 4 began in 2011 and it was led by creative director Amy Henning and game director Justin Richmond. Growth was impeded in 2014 due to Henning and Richmond's departure from Naughty Dog, after that Neil Druckmann and Bruce Traley replaced them. A Thieves End was released in May 2016 for the PlayStation 4 and it was the first Naughty Dog game explicitly developed for the PlayStation 4. Naughty Dog has used Maya Sense Uncharted 2 Among Thieves to record the characters' movements and then transplant them into another. For example, Naughty Dog uses Maya when a non-player character traverses areas with Drake, who is another game character, instead of animating each action individually. Naughty Dog was able to run the environment characters with Nathan Drake, who already has built-in animations for jumping and climbing. The lighting of the Uncharted 4 game was done utilizing Maya for setup and the graphics were rendered in the PS4 through Naughty Dog's proprietary game engine. A Thieves End won several year-end accolades, including Game of the Year awards from several gaming publications, critics and game awards ceremonies. With over 15 million copies sold, it is the highest selling Uncharted game and one of the best selling games on the PlayStation 4 of all time. As you can see, Autodesk Maya has been used in many popular games and it is excellent for character modeling and best for rigging and animation work and it also comes with great dynamic tools and much more. Maya is a huge success in the world of game development and great for new game development artists especially animators. It is relatively a complete package that assists designers and 3D artists through the time they spend working on different game elements. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.